But I thank God. Because when she mentioned that this is the day I realized, yes, there is a day that we need to claim. And the message that the Lord gave me Na ujumbe mbao bwana mempatia is almost in line with that ina karibiana na hiyo because we need to prepare kwa sababu tunahitaji kupanga for the workings of god in our lives kwa mambo kwa kazi ambayo ya bwana katika maisha and and let me just uh, put across a disclaimer acha tu aseme jambo that i am not speaking about works ya kwamba haonenei kuhusu Matendo. In no way am I trying to say that a man has to work for salvation. Wala hasemi ya kwamba mwanadamu lazima afanyie kazi wa uh, wokovu. Because salvation was given freely. Kwa sababu wokovu ulipewa na bure. Praise the name of God. Jina la Bwana. There is kuzi. nothing that you can do as a man. Hakuna kitu ambacho unaweza fanya kama mwanadamu. To attain salvation ili upate wokovu out of Jesus Christ. Ah uh, katika Kristo. Hallelujah. So as I speak this message I'm not talking about uh, 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 the, 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 the work of the flesh. But it's a challenge to us Christians. Because there are things that we ought to do. Praise the name of God. To live to the fullness of that which Christ got hold of us. And therefore the, 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 the title of the message is fertile ground. Kwa hiyo mada ni um shamba yenye rutuba. Hallelujah. Ama ambayo imetayarishwa. Shamba liliyotayarishwa. Praise the name of God. Tell your neighbor fertile ground. Ambia jirani yako shamba lenye rutuba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's uh, go to the word of God. Twende katika neno la Bwana. Matthew chapter 13. Katika Mariko 13. I will read from verse 1 to verse 9. Tasoma moja hadi 9. And uh, we will not uh, read in Swahili. Mm -hmm. Because we will be done by latest 12.30, God willing. Tamaliza, uh, sasita na nusu. Later, that same day, Jesus left the house and sat beside the lake. A large crowd soon gathered around him. So he got into a boat. Then he sat there and taught as the people stood on the shore. He told many stories in the form of parables such as this one. So this is a story that Jesus was giving. Listen. A farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with, with, uh, with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they did not have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they produced a crop that was dirty, 60 and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Anyone with ears should listen and understand. Kila Praise the name of God. Na ailewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord had to explain. Praise the name of God. Jina la bwana From verse 18. Let me start from verse 19. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand it. Then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they did not have deep roots, they do not, uh, they, 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 sorry, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life 
and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. Praise God. Amen. So Jesus comes with a parable of a sower. And this is now where the farmers drive. Because they understand the science of planting and harvesting. Because you cannot plant in a ground that is not prepared and expect a harvest. Praise the name of God. And when I was thinking about fertile ground, I started reimagining the battle of the grounds that have been happening in the book, uh, in the Bible. Wakati ambapo alikuwa na tafakari aka tafakari kile ambacho kilikuwa kinaendelea katika Biblia. Praise the name of God. And I realized there is no need for a seed to be produced. Na akatambua ya kwamba haina haja mbegu itolewe. If the ground is not prepared for the seed. Kama uh, haina rotuba ama kama Shamba halijafanyiwa kazi. A man cannot claim a seed if the ground of his heart is not prepared to uh, to to take uh, to take the seed. Mtu haezi dai ama mwanadamu haezi dai mbegu kama hajataharisha shamba lake. Praise the name of God. I want tukuza. you to understand something from this parable. Nataka uelewe kitu katika hii hadithi. There is one farmer. Kuna mpanzi mmoja. There is one type of seed. Kuna kuna mbegu moja. But the soil Soils are different. Lakini michanga ni tofauti. Hallelujah. Jina la bwana litukuzi. The farmer represents Jesus. Mpanzi ana anawakilisha Yesu. The seed is the message. Ah. Uh, Praise the name of God. So Jesus is saying that he has come to everyone. He has come to everybody. And he has come with one message. But now what will be produced by the message is dependent on where the message will fall. It means that the message may come into the house of God today. And it will be heard by everybody. But the way we leave this sanctuary will be different. Praise the name of God. And when I was listening to this message, I got scared. Praise the name of God. Because it is good to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. It is it's not good to just read a word and prepare. Let the Holy Spirit speak it to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that he can give you utterance. So when I was listening to this message as it was coming into my soul, I started getting scared. Because the message has been spoken for long. There are many messages that have been spoken on this altar. And maybe your life has remained the same. Turn to your neighbor. Let's, let's do a small exercise. Ask your neighbor. Are you born again? Are you born again? I hope the answer is yes. Are you born again? I am. Praise the name of God. Amen. So the answer is yes. Ask your neighbor now, this is the tough question. For how long have you been born again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the challenge comes in. Sasa changamoto inakuja. Because now there, 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 there are people who will say, I've been born again for 30 years. Sababu kuna wengine watasema miaka 30. I have been waiting upon the Lord for 30 years. Ngoja Mungu kwa miaka 30. Praise the name of God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. They have read the Bible four times from Genesis to Revelation. Wamesoma neno kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho 
Did you ask them how long they have been born again? Praise the name of God. Now, don't ask them this. But the next question is, where are the fruits? Amen. If you have been born again for all this long, what can you show to show that you have been born again? Praise the name of God. How many times have you been coming to the house of God? Praise the name of God. And how many times have you had the message of healing? And yet you have been sick throughout. Why is it that every time there is an call for healing, you are here. Kwa nini kila wakati uh, wakati kunaitwa kuja kuombewa watu wagonjwa unatokea kila wakati. Praise the name of God. Jina la because three tukuzo. things are happening here. Kwa sababu mambo matatu yanafanyika hapa. There is the giver of healing. Kunaye anayepeana uponyaji. That is the farmer that is Jesus. Ambaye ni mpanzi ambaye ni Yesu. And there is the message of healing. Na kuna wao ujumbe wa uponyaji. That comes from him. Ambaye unatoka kwake. And then there is a ground that is supposed to receive the healing. Na pia kukona shamba ambalo linapaswa kupokea so where is the problem? Is it the giver of the message? Is it the message? Or is it the receiver of the message? Praise the name of God. And we know where the answer may be lying. Because the message, the, the, the giver of the message and the message itself are faithful from the beginning. Ni, ni, ni kutoka mwanzo. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And that is what scared me. Na hii kampa hofu. And I started asking God. Na bwana, is my ground fertile to receive that which you have spoken? Ye, langu lina rotba ya kupokea kile ambacho umenena. You know Christians have come to a level. Wajua Kristo tumekuja katika sehemu. Where we like encouraging messages. Ambapo tunapenda ujumbe ule ambao unatutia. You will will receive in Jesus name. You are going to become rich in Jesus name. You are going to go to a new dimension in Jesus name. And if we preach that kind of a message, everybody will be on their feet saying a big amen. And we will leave the church saying today we have been blessed. Because we have been told we are going to drive big cars. Praise the name of God. But I have come with a different message today. That there is a need for the ground to be prepared to receive the seed. Praise the name of God. It does not matter how many times we will declare on this pulpit. Hallelujah. 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 It doesn't matter how many times it will be announced. If the ground is not prepared, the seed will not take root. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So does it mean the, 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 the pastor is wrong to declare? No. Because the message has to go out. Because there is a fertile ground somewhere that is prepared to receive the seed. That one will receive the seed. And it will grow. And the fruit will be seen. But the problem is we are not willing to prepare our hearts to be fertile ground to receive from God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am, and as I said, I'm not talking about works. But there is something that needs to happen in your life. For the seed to take root. Let me just touch on a healing as an example. Praise the name of God. Give me Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Malachi 4 verse 2. Give me Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Malachi 4 verse 2. 
This is just an example of a message that will come to the house of God. And I have had it being declared many times. But I have worried because I have not seen the fruits at times. But for you who fear my name. Some versions say for them that revile my name. The son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. Praise the name of God. And you will go free leaping with joy like calves let out to pasture. Now I want us to understand something. Many people what? will jump the path that says, but for you who fear my name. Watu wengi watatoa hisi hemu embo inasema wale embo wanamogo pa mungu. Praise the name of God. Jina la buwana litukuzu. And we will start claiming healing in prayer. Na tutaanza kutangaza uponyaji katika mungu. That I declare that the son of righteousness is rising in my life in Jesus' name. Ya kwamba natangaza ya kwamba juu ala haki lita... You will labor in the morning declaring that the son of righteousness will rise in, uh, on, on your life. You are going to go ahead and start declaring that by his stripes I am healed. Praise the name of God. You will start binding demons. But you forgot that there is a land somewhere that is called the fear of God. That there is something that prepares your heart for healing called the fear of God. Praise the name of God. So when you claim this message, ask yourself, is this a, a promise? Does it find fertile ground in my life? Because if there is no fear of God in you, my sister, then the only thing that you should claim is the masses of God. There is no spiritual authority to claim the son of righteousness to rise in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. So ask him again, how many years have you been born again? Where are the fruits? Praise the name of God. Because your heart has to become a fertile ground for the messages to take root. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. And when I was thinking about this, I went to the book of Genesis. And, and, and you know, Genesis, every word that has been written is actually the revelation of Jesus. And the Bible talks about a ground and that was there. Praise the name of God. And the Bible says that the, 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 the earth was void. And the earth was formless. And there was nothing that could take root in that earth as it was. But yet, ah, lakini, the message was still there even then. Lakini, ujumbe ulikuwa tu hata wakati huo. The seed was still there even then. Hata wakati huo kulikuwa bado tu na mbegu. Because I will show you why. Kwa sababu nita kuonyesha kwa nini. Because the Bible says, but the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Kwa sababu biblia inaseme kwamba roo wa buwana alikuwa juu ya maji. The Holy Spirit is a carrier of seed. Roo mtakatifu ndiye anaye beba mbengu. Praise the name of God. He is 
a carrier of the seed. How do I know this? Because when you come to the book, uh, to, 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 to the New Testament, you find God telling Joseph that the, 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 the pregnancy or the child that Mary is carrying is of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. So it means the Holy Spirit has the ability to carry the seed. But in Genesis, nothing was happening. Because the earth was void and formless. Praise the name of God. There was work that needed to be done to prepare the world. Praise the name of God. And that is what, what God did through creation. Now there are people some who are, especially people who are not born again and, and, and this, this, this now becomes a challenge. When you pray and we need to pray with understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I looked at this, I see if you are not born again, kama hauja okoka, if you are not walking with Christ, kama utembe ina Christo, your heart is void and formless. Moyo wanko uko tupu. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it comes to the ground for bearing fruit, ikifika mahali pa, um, a, katika arthi ya kuzama tunda, your heart is like the world when it was beginning. Moyo wako uko na kama vile ambavyo ilikuwa pale mwanzo. If you are here you are not born again. Kama uko hapa na haujaokoka. Your heart is formless and void. Moyo wako uko tupu. It does not matter how much the outpouring of the Holy Spirit will be poured. It does not matter how many words of encouragement will be spoken here. But they are not going to take root. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. It is not like we are jealous of this gospel. That we do not want to share it with anybody else. It is not like we are saying healing is only for them that are born again. We are not saying that uh, blessings are them for them that are born again. But what I am saying is there needs to be a fertile ground for the message to take root and to bear fruit. Praise the name of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you are not born again, do not worry. The one who prepared the land from the beginning, the one who said, let there be light and there was light. The one who said, let us push the waters into one place so that ground can arise. The one who say let trees come up and they came up. The one who say let wild animals come up and they came up. He is here today. If you go to Revelation 3 verse 20. The Bible says in Revelation 3:20. That behold, I stand at the door. Praise the name of God. Behold, I stand at the door. And I am knocking. I am knocking on the door of your heart. Praise the name of God. And if you are willing to open up the door, then I am going to come in. Praise the name of God. When God said, Let the be light and there was light. Life started growing in the world. Praise the name of God. The process of creation started producing fruit. 
Praise the name of God. That is why God could not say, Go and be fruitful if He had not prepared the ground for fruitfulness. Praise the name of God. Maybe you are sitting there wondering, How do I prepare my heart? Open up that door of your heart. Because he is willing to come and prepare that ground to make it fertile for his word. That we may start bearing fruits. Uh, that is 60 and 100 fold. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 So God gives out uh, his masses to everybody. So the master of God in itself is a seed. Praise the name of God. It is powered to the whole uh, uh, to the whole world. Hallelujah. But it is not everybody that will experience the mercy of God. The grace of God has been poured out. But the grace of God is like a seed. You can claim we are living under the days of grace. But it is not in everyone that they will enjoy the fruits of grace. Praise the name of God. Because grace is a seed. It is a message that has been poured to the whole world. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Amen. You are supposed to interpret. Praise the name of God. Amen. Not to say a big amen. Hallelujah. She is my amen corner. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. So grace is a seed that has been poured out. But it is not everybody who is going to experience the grace. Yes, you may sin and not be burnt alive. Because we are living in the days of grace. But that grace will not bear the fruits in your life. Unless the ground is prepared. And the ground can only be prepared by the entrance of Jesus himself. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You better say amen or she starts saying amen without <laughs> uh, interpreting. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Matthew 5, 45. Give me that verse. In that way, you will be acting as children of your father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. Hallelujah. Now, this is the grace. Praise the name of God. So, the fact that you are receiving the grace. Uh, the fact that you are living in the time of grace it does not translate you into righteousness. I, I hope mm. you understand what I am trying to say. Yes. Praise the name of God. That the, 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 the fact that you, you, you see, you know, you are living well, life is good, hakuna shida mingi, there is nothing that happens praise the name of God Hallelujah. this is because he will give sunlight to both evil and good because that is a seed 
When the farmer went to plant, he planted everywhere. He did not decide that this is the ground that I need to plant in. He planted the seed everywhere. Praise the name of God. That is the same thing with the grace of God. He will pour it out to everybody. But it does not by any means translate into righteousness in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So by no means do not sin because you are living under the grace. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not continue sinning that grace may abide. Because this grace is willing and it is looking for a place to, to bear fruits. If your heart is fertile, when grace comes in and fights Jesus dwelling in you richly that is when the fruit starts to get that is when you start hearing the fruits coming that is when the message of healing is spoken that the Holy Spirit is saying he's healing somebody today and you don't even need to come to the altar. Healing locates you where you are. Because the ground is fertile. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. So this is a challenge. Let us not be in the behavior of always clapping when we hear good messages. And it is good to clap for me to encourage the preacher. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. But when you are clapping, because the word has been spoken, ask yourself, where has that seed been planted? Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Because if the ground is not fertile, there is no fruit. And the problem is not the message. And the problem is not the, 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 the farmer. The problem is the soil. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Micah chapter 6 verse 6. Mikael 6. Micah chapter 6 verse 6. I'm almost finishing. Karibu mm. Malaysia. Mika chapter 6 verse 6 Mika sita sita Hallelujah Hallelujah What can we bring to the Lord Tutaleta nini mbele za Bwana What kind of offering should we give him Tutaleta sadaka ya namna gani Should we bow before God with offerings of earling calves Ye tutainamba mbele za Mungu na ma Na sadaka za ngombe, ama ngombe wadogo. Verse 7. Should we offer him thousands of rounds and ten thousands of riv uh, rivers of olive oil? Should we sacrifice our firstborn children to pay for our sins? Verse 8. No, O oh people. The Lord has told you what is good. And this is what he requires of you. To do what is right. To love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Verse 9. Hallelujah. Fear the Lord if you are wise. His voice calls to everyone in Jerusalem. The armies of destruction are coming. The Lord is sending them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. So God is asking. Mungu anauliza. What should you bring to him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you have done all these things that look good. You come to church. You offer sacrifices. You pray heavily. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. But now, that is not the one that is supposed to prepare the ground. Because the ground is prepared out of righteousness and the fear of God. And, and, and this is the statement I want to put across. We have come into a place in the church currently. And the Lord help me. We have come to a place 
where we have started glorifying sacrifice more than righteousness praise the name of God when you go and face a small challenge Ukienda ukipata changamoto kidogo you rush to the altar with a sacrifice unakimbia katika madhabahu na sadaka if your son starts coughing mtoto wako akianza kukohoa you re, you bring a sacrifice for healing unakuja unaleta sadaka katika madhabahu ya uponyaji it's an error mm ni makosa praise the name of god jina la bwana altu where is it written that you will be healed because of the giving that you give ni kwamba utaponywa kwa kile ambacho utatoa what is the condition for healing Ye, ni, nini inahitaji kwa kwa the name of the Lord. Muogope mm, Mungu. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Let them that are righteous. Wacha wale ambao wana wenye haki. Wazee wa kanisa come and pray for you and lay hands on you Hallelujah. and you will be healed. Na wazee watakuombea na utapona. That a prayer of faith will heal. Ya kwamba maombi ya imani yatakuponya. But there is an error that we have started propagating of giving sacrifices for each and everything that we face. Lakini kuna makosa kwa sababu watu wameanza kupeana sadaka kwa Praise the name of God. Mm. If your heart is not fertile ground, it does not matter how many sacrifices you offer. That will be a seed in futility. Nibure. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 Before you go and collect that seed. Kabla haujaenda kutoa hiyo sadaka. How is the ground that the seed is supposed to take root? Je, iko wapi ardhi nini ardhi yako iko namna gani? Praise the name of God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu atusaidie sana. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the name of God. Because we need to understand the dealings of the spirit of God. And the desire of God upon our lives. The greatest desire of God in your life is relationship. Driving big cars is secondary. Kuendesha magari makubwa hiyo si ya muhimu zaidi. Having a good husband is secondary. Kuwa na mume mwema hiyo ni nyuma. Walking in physical healing is secondary. Kutembea katika uponyaji hiyo si ya maana zaidi. Getting children is secondary. Kupata watoto hiyo si ya maana zaidi. But the most important thing lakini la muhimu zaidi and the reason that Jesus died on the cross na ile ambayo ilimfanya Kristo akufe katika msalaba is that he may buy us back to God. That we may have a relationship with our Father. Praise the name of God. So we cannot make the gospel a marketplace for exchange. Iwe soko. Iwe soko. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The gospel cannot become a marketplace for exchange of goods and services. kufanyika soko mahali ambapo unanunua na unapokea. That service the altar then the altar speaks for you. Ati kwamba unaifanyisha kazi madhabahu alafu madhabahu inakunenea. Praise the name of God. There is a reason that Jesus died. There is a reason that blood was shed. And unless you find that reason in your life, all the activities we do will be in futility. Praise the name of Hallelujah. God. There is no reason to walk in hell than go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 We are finishing. Tunamalizia. Jeremiah 17 verse 1. No, let's do Jeremiah 17 verse 10. Jere Let me just now read these verses so that we finish. Jeremiah 17:10. But I the Lord search all hearts and examine secret motives. I give all people their due rewards. According to what their actions deserve. It is not what you pray is what you deserve. Si kile ambacho unaomba ndio unaitajika ama ndio inakufaa. Praise the name of God. Jina la Bwana People forget that. 
watu wanasahau hiyo that the bible says i will give you reward according to what you do what na kwamba biblia inasema kwamba nitakupatia madhao kulingana na kile ambacho unapaswa what you deserve kile ambacho unafaa ask yourself before you kneel to pray jiulize kabla hujapiga magoti kuomba is my ground deserving of this seed je rotuba ardhi yangu ina rotuba zaidi ya kupokea mbegu hii praise the name of god jina la bwana altukuzi hallelujah hallelujah psalms 139 zaburi 1 133 23 search me o god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts verse 24 Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Mm. Praise the name of God. This is David. He is realizing there are things that he may not achieve if his heart is not in the right place. Anatambua kwamba kuna mambo haezi pokea kama moyo wake hauko sawa na Mungu. And I pray this will become our prayer this week. Anaomba ya kwamba hii ndio itakuwa maombi yetu wiki hii. That such me. Ya kwamba nichunguze Bwana. Go deeper into my heart. Ya ndani katika moyo wangu. Look at what is not leading on to the everlasting path of life. Angalia kile ambacho hakinielekezi katika njia iliyo Praise the name of God. Because it does not matter if I gain everything and I lose my place in eternity. That is the outlook of God. And he says don't you know that your father desires to give you all these things. But now we have turned them to become the key point of our engagement with God. We are seeking more of what we will get from God rather than God himself. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you Jeremiah 17 verse 1 verse 1 Jeremiah 17 verse 1 I wish we had time to just expound more on these verses The sin of Judah is inscribed with an iron chisel and engraved with a diamond point on their stony hearts and in the corners of their altars. Go verse 3. So I will hand over my holy mountain along with all your wealth and treasures and your pagan shrines as plunder to your enemies for sins runs rampant in your land. Praise the name of God. Jina la bwana litukuzwe. God is not He's not he, he's not even saving his mountain. Mungu hata ha, haponyi mlima wake. He's saying even my holy mountain I will hand it over. Anasema hata mlima wangu nitaupeana. Praise the name of God. Jina you know you Jesus. know sometimes we think we are protected because we come to church every Sunday. Unajua mara nyingi tunadhani ya kwamba tu, tunalindwa kwa sababu tunakuja kanisani kila siku. We think because we give big tithes now we are righteous so we are protected. Tunadhani kwa sababu tunapeana fungu kubwa ama nzito tumelindwa. I may think that because I am preaching on Sunday then next week it does not matter how I am living my life eh, God remembers. Tunasema kwamba yaani vile ambavyo unavohubiri haujalishi vile utakavyoishi lakini Mungu anakumbuka. But God is saying that even my holy mountain I will hand it over to plunder. Lakini Bwana anasema kwamba hata mlima wangu nitaupeana. Because there is nothing as important as your heart. Kwa sababu hakuna ile ya muhimu zaidi kwa Mungu isipokuwa moyo wako. If God does not have your heart. Kama Mungu hana moyo wako. Then to him you have given him nothing. Basi haujampa kitu Mungu. That is why he's looking at the heart of Judah. Ndio maana anaangalia katika and he said my sin is inscribed on your stony hearts na anasema ya kwamba dhambi imejiandikika katika mioyo yenu migumu kama mawe so mioyo yako ni mawe kwanza your heart is like a stone and then mtu amekuja amechimba na chiso akaandika dhambi zako hapo kwa hiyo moyo then your sins have been inscribed on that stony heart praise the name of god at this point it does not matter what 
Judah is praying for. Kwa hapa haijalishi kile ambacho Judah anaombea. Travel back to time and see Judah praying for security. Ukirudi hapo nyuma unamwona Yuda akiombea kulindwa au ulinzi. Because the enemies of Judah have started gathering. Kwa sababu maadui wa Yuda wameanza kumfuata. And God and and we have gotten to those uh, times many times. Na tumefika hapo katika hiyo sehemu mara nyingi. You are looking at your life and you are realizing the enemies of your life are started gathering around you. Na una, una angalia unaona ya kwamba maadui zako wameanza kukuzingira. You look on those side there is no school fees. Unaangalia upande huu unapata ya kwamba hakuna You look at this other side you are almost getting sacked at your job place. Unaangalia upande huu unaona ya kwamba unafutwa kazi. And you call on the name of God expecting salvation. Na unaliitia jina la Bwana ukingoja wokovu. You start reminding God about your sacrificial giving. Unaanza kukumbusha Mungu jinsi ulivyotoa. Praise the name of God. You start reminding God how you come to church every Sunday on time. Unaanza kumkumbusha Mungu jinsi unavyokuja kanisani kwa wakati. You start reminding God how you serve him faithfully in the praise and worship. Unaanza kumkumbusha Mungu jinsi ambavyo unamtumikia katika kundi la sifa na You start reminding God of about how many times you go for the home Bible fellowship. Unaanza kumkumbusha Mungu jinsi ambavyo unaenda katika shirika la kujifundisha. Those are things that happen on the holy mountain Hayo ndio mambo ambayo yanafanyika katika mlima wa Bwana You are very faithful to go up the mountain of the Lord Uko katika uaminifu ya kwenda katika mlima wa Bwana But God comes and searches the heart Lakini Mungu anakuja anatazama roho And he realizes that ground is not fertile at all Anaangalia anaona ya kwamba hiyo ardhi si rutu And he realizes your heart is so far away from him Anaangalia anaona ya kwamba moyo wako uko mbali na yeye And this is the only message you will receive Na huu ndio ujumbe ambao utapokea It does not matter the amount of sacrifices you have raised Haijalishi ni zanga ngapi ambazo umeinua If the ground is not fertile kama ardhi yako haiko na rutuba Praise the name of God You are going to be taken in exile Utaenda utaingia katika kifungo There is a verse I love Job chapter 22 as I finish Katika Job chapter 22 a good speaker finishes three times. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I am in my second time. <laughs> I'm almost finishing. Job 22 verse 21. Give it to me. Then prepare first Peter chapter 3. John chapter 2 verse 21. Submit to God and you will have peace. Then things will go well for you. Hallelujah. So you've been praying for so long for things to go well for you. Umekuwa sana mambo yaende sawa na wewe. Are you submitted? Je, umenyenyekea? So if I come here and declare things will be good for you. Nikija hapa nikitangaza kwamba mambo yatakuwa sawa na That's a seed. Hiyo ni mbegu. But are you submitted? Je, lakini je, umenyenyekea? If not, that seed is not for you. Kama hujanyenyekea, hiyo mbegu si yako. Of course you will receive it. Ndio utaipokea. But it will be a seed like a seed that fell on the roadside. Lakini itakuwa kama ile mbegu ambayo ilianguka pale katika barabara. So before you say a big amen. Kabla hujasema amen kubwa. Because the message is sweet. Kwa sababu ujumbe huo ni mtamu. Are you submitted? Je, umenyekea? Let's continue. Verse 22. 22. Bonface Bonface let's move faster. Verse 22 of the same chapter. Tuarakishe. Job chapter. Listen to his instructions and store them in your heart. Verse 23 keep going. Listen to his instructions and store them in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. Mm. Praise the name of God. Amen. If you return to the Almighty, you Kim, will be restored. Ukimrudia, utarujishiwa. So, clean up your life. Kwa hiyo, safisha maisha yako. There is work to do. Kuna kazi ya kufanya. If the seed has to take root. Kama mbegu itatoa, itazaa. A man must clean up his life. Mtu lazima safishe maisha yake. Continue verse 24. If you give up your last for money. Mm and throw your precious gold into the river the almighty himself will be your treasure 
He will be your precious silver. Let's continue. Then you will take delight in the Almighty and look up to God. There is need for the heart of man to be prepared to get to a level when he can take joy in the Almighty and look up to God. It's not everybody who has this grace. It is a man whose heart is given to God. Silver and gold mean nothing to your life. Feather and dhahabu hai because your life is given to God. Then you can make a claim of this. You will pray to him. And he will hear you. And you will fulfill your vows to him. Hallelujah. Amen. What is the secret to him hearing you? Mm. Your heart. Keep going. Verse 28. You will succeed in whatever you choose to do. And light will shine on the road ahead of you. Kwani, what have you been praying if not this? Praise the name of God. And the answer is there. Your heart. Your heart. Praise the name of God. Keep going. If people are in trouble, ha. Mm. Woo. and you say help them God will save them Hallelujah. I want that chapter I want that verse in another version <sighs> give me, give, is that an LT? give me in KJV I, I love that verse if people are in trouble you will say help them and God will save them. Now, this is a grace that is now overflowing to another level. Praise the name of God. And now this, is, this explains eh? this explains why sometimes a man of God will lay hands on you and you are a sinner and you get healed. Do, do not imagine you have been healed because you have been righteous. It's because the man of God has risen to a level where he can say if men are cast down you declare there is a raising up and God answers. Because the heart is at the right place. The Bible says when men are cast down then thou shalt say there is a lifting up and he shall save the humble person. Now the problem is even there there is a a fertile ground. Who will be saved? Who will be saved? The humble person. So how do you claim this if you are proud? So if you are proud and even the man of God has been given the grace to declare a lifting up you will come here cast down he will declare there is a lifting up God will hear because God hears the servants but you will remain cast down because the ground for that word was not fertile. Verse 30. Thalathine. He shall deliver the island of the innocent mm. and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. There is innocence also in deliverance. Mm. So when you claim this verse, that there is a lifting up. What is the state of your heart? First Peter chapter 3. Now we are finishing. This is the final finish. First Peter chapter 3. Verse 10 to verse 15. For he that will love life 
Now, I want you now to read because I'm not going to explain this. This is self-explanatory. But I want you to examine yourself and ask yourself where is your heart in regards to God. I know we are all born again. Maybe you are there, you are not born again. I'll give you a chance to give your life to Jesus. But there are transactions that will be determined by the ground you are standing on. Moses approaches God on the burning bush and God tells him stop there remove your shoes because the ground you are standing on is holy there are things you are claiming for in your life there are prayers you have been praying for long in your life but you have never found the ground to stand on because there are some certain transactions that will only happen at a certain level. Praise the name of God. You might be facing a holy God with your shoes on. And the moment you live there, instead of coming out with blessings, you come out with a casting down. We need to start getting serious with God. Praise the name of God. Amen. Let us stop becoming Christians who just say a big amen with a good message. And yet that word has nowhere to land. Before you come to church on Sunday, is your heart prepared? Before you tell people, I am going to Cataloni for a week of an encounter, how is your heart before you start fasting and you are saying now I am going to declare before you declare how is your heart is your heart at the right place to claim what you are claiming if not repent seek for God I would rather spend a week in Cataloni seeking the face of God. And even if I do not pray for anything else, even if I do not pray for my family, even if I do not pray to be blessed, even if I do not pray for how next year will be, if I leave that place having found my father, I will come home knowing that I have gotten that which I prayed for. If only I can find God, you will have found everything. If only your heart will be at the right place. Praise the name of God. Even if you do not ask for anything else, you will have found the most important thing. Let us become serious with the seeking of this God. Let us not be casual Christians. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling because there is a ground that is demanded of you that a seed can take place and bear fruit for he that will love life and see good days let him refrain his tongue from evil Amen. and his lips that they speak no guile mm. verse 11 keep going let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensure it. Verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are all over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. Hallelujah. The ears of God are open to the righteous. 
mwenye haki. It's true you've been in salvation for 12 years. Ni kweli umekuwa katika wokovu miaka 12. You have been in salvation for that years. Umekuwa katika wokovu kwa miaka 30. But how have you been with God? Lakini umekuwa namna gani na Mungu? Is your heart the land by the roadside? Je, moyo wako ni kama ile ardhi ambayo ilikuwa pale katika Where any bird can come in and pick up the seeds. Ambapo ambapo kila ndege anaweza kuja tu na akapokea. Verse 13. And who is he that will harm you? Na ni nani huyo atakaye kuhudhuru? If he be followers of that which is good. Kama mnafuata mambo yaliyo sawa. Our lives are so full of fear. Maisha yetu yamejaa hofu. We do not know what will happen tomorrow. Hatujui ni nini litafanyika kesho. Every day is a cry of God save us. Kila wakati tunalia Bwana tuokoe. Yet the answer is in righteousness. Lakini tu jibu liko katika haki. But even though even though you suffer for righteousness sake. Lakini hata kama utateseka kwa sababu ya haki. Even if you suffer when your heart is in the right place. Kama utateseka kwa sababu moyo wako uko katika mali Even if I go hungry but I know I am right with God. Hata kama nitaenda njaa lakini najua niko sawa na Mungu. My face will not lose his countenance. Uso wangu hautapoteza tabasamu. Because happy are ye. Kwa sababu wamefurahi walio. And be not afraid of the yatera na na sitaogopa sita hofu mambo yao neither be troubled hata sitaogopa verse 15 but sanctify the lord god in your hearts lakini takasa bwana mungu wako ndani ya moyo wako give me nlt of that verse pena nlt oh my god first peter chapter 3 verse 15 because we can live victorious lives We don't have to live a defeated Christian life. Hatuhitaji kuishi maisha ambayo yameshindwa. If your heart is in the right place brother Mogambi. Kama moyo wako uko katika mahali pasawa. There are things you will stop praying for. Kuna mambo utaacha kuombea. They will just come because there is fertile ground in you. Itakuja tu kwa sababu kuko na ardhi iliyo na rotuba. Yes you've been born again and yet you've been praying the same prayer. Ndio umeokoka na umekuwa ukiombea kitu mara kwa mara You have been fighting the same battle. Na umekuwa ukipigana vita kila wakati. Stop fighting now. Wacha kupigana sasa. Pick an about turn. Chukua uh, geuka sasa. And look for him that conquered the world. Na umtazamie yule aliyeshinda dunia. Stop praying for that issue. Wacha kuombea hilo jambo tena. It is enough. Imetosha. Iweke kando. Mm. Rise up in prayer and find the one that conquered the world. Inuke katika maombi na umtafute yule aliyeshinda ulimwengu. And tell him I desire you in my heart. Na umwambie na kutazamia bwana. I desire you in my life. Ninakutaka katika maisha yangu. Because when I have you then I have everything. Kwa sababu nikiwa nawe nina kila kitu. Because the Bible says. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema. Instead you must worship Christ. Badala yake lazima umwabudu Kristo. As Lord of your life. Kama bwana katika maisha yako. Oh and if someone asks about your Christian hope. Na kama kuna mtu anauliza kuhusu tumaini la wokovu wako. Always be willing to explain it. Kila wakati uko tayari kueleza. Praise the name of God. Jina la bwana litukuzwe. Oh Jesus can do things in your life until people have to come and ask, where do you find this grace? Yesu anaweza fanya kazi ndani ya maisha yako. You are not employed but things keep moving in the right direction. In your life. mambo yanaenda tu sawa katika maisha Praise the name of God. It is seems that any door you knock is always open for you. Praise the name of God. Tell them that you have found Jesus. That conquered the world. Let us stand on our feet. Oh Jesus. Praise the name of God. Ha, there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. For them that are cast down. Kwa wale ambao wameshushwa. For them that are troubled. Kwa wale ambao wanashida. For them that are in pain. Kwa wale ambao wana uchungu. They are a lifting up. Unakuinuliwa. They are a restoration. Unakuregeshwa. But you must 
uh, uh, look into your heart. Lakini lazima utazame moyo wako. You must make sure your heart is fertile ground. Lazima uhakikishe kwamba moyo wako una rotuba. To receive that which has been promised. Kupokea kile ambacho kimeahidiwa. If your heart is not in the right place. Kama moyo wako haupo mahali pa sawa. We will shout healing from January to December. Tutangatangaza uponyaji kuanzia January to December. You will not receive the healing. Na utapokea. We will de- we will we will we will, we will shout employment. Tutatangaza kupata kazi. From January to December. Kuanzia January hadi December. There will not be employment. Na hakutakuwa na. We will kazi. shout a breakthrough. Tutakuwa tuna From January to December. Kuanzia January hadi December. There will December. be no breakthrough. Na hakutakuwa. How I pray. Naomba. The last few days of this year. Na kwamba siku zilizobaki katika mwaka huu. And even when you start writing the resolutions of 2023. Hata ukianza kuandika mambo yale unahitaji mwaka ujao. Start with Jesus and end with Jesus. Anza na Yesu, maliza na Yesu. Tell Jesus if I have you then I have everything. Mwambie Yesu nikiwa nawe ni niko na kila kitu. Tell him even if I suffer for righteousness sake. Sema hata kama nitateseka kwa sababu ya haki. I will seek you. Bado nitakutumikia. Because there is a ground that is ready to be prepared. Kwa sababu na ardhi ambayo iko tayari kutafanywa kazi. The, ha- the farmer is always ready. Mpanzi ako tayari. The seed is always out. Mbegu iko nje. The ground is the problem. Shida ni ardhi. Praise the name of God. Jina la Bwana tukuzwe. I want the praise and worship to just come here. Jesus. 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 And I want to give you just Three minutes. I don't want us to take a lot of time. Patia tutagika tatu sitaki tuchukue muda zaidi. Now you can move slightly away from your neighbor. Oh Jesus. Because this is your prayer. This is not your neighbor's prayer. Now you can stand on your own. Simama tu peke yako. Stand on your own and face Calvary. Simama tu peke yako na tazamia Calvary. See Jesus crucified. Angalia Yesu aliyesulubiwa. See the blood that is flowing from Emmanuel's side. Angalia ile damu ambayo inatiririka kutoka kwa Yesu. Because there is a flow from Emmanuel's side. Kwa sababu kuna damu inatiririka kutoka kwa Yesu. And if sinners go with through the flow. Na wakati wenye dhambi wanaenda. It washes all our sins. Anaosha dhambi zote. Praise the name of God. I don't know which song you will give us. Oh Jesus. But I want us to worship God. Just for a minute. And I want you to tell God. I've been praying for many things. I've been asking for many things. I have been contending for many things. But at this hour, I surrender all. I surrender everything. That you may have your way. That you alone may reign. That I may only find you. That I may only walk with you. Because everything else will pass away. But his word will remain.